Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install the latest version of RetroArch on your PS Vita. So the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and open up Vita Shell. Press select to connect your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what to do over on the PC. Right guys, so on your PC, you wouldn't just need to go to the two links in the description. So the first link is just the official RetroArch website. So what you want to do is just go to the download section, then scroll all the way down and we're looking for PS Vita. So there it is, so all you want to do is just click download and that will begin at downloading the RetroArch.vpk. So while that's downloading, you want to go to the second link, which is a mega link. And basically guys, this is the PS Vita RetroArch file folders, and this has some custom themes, which just make the emulator look a lot nicer. So you want to download that as well, so just click download. Right guys, so once both files have finished downloading, you can now go to your PC's downloads folder, and these are the two files you need. Now I've also got a folder called RetroArch ROMs, so all you do, right click, new folder, call it RetroArch underscore ROMs, and then inside I've just got each of my ROM sets. So I've got Game Boy Advance, I've got a Game Boy Advance game, I've got Game Boy Color, Game Boy Color game, um, Sega Master System, and then Sonic, and then there you go, Super Nintendo. So there are all the ROMs I have. Obviously you guys can get your ROMs from wherever you want to, that's up to you. But all you want to do is make sure you have a file like this with this sort of layout. You can add, you know, plenty of other different games and stuff. And you also need to extract this file. So right click and then do extract here. You can now delete the zip file. And what we need to do is make sure our PS Vita is connected. RetroArch underscore ROMs can go on the root of our PS Vita. The RetroArch VPK can go on the root of our PS Vita. And then the RetroArch file folder with all of these files in just wants to go inside of your data folder. Right guys, so once all of these files have finished copying across, you can now disconnect your PS Vita from your PC and I will show you guys how to use RetroArch. Right guys, so once you're back on your PS Vita, the first thing you want to do is just go down to your UXO or wherever you put the VPK. Then scroll down, find the RetroArch.VPK, press X on it and then press X again to install the package. So if for some reason it takes like two minutes to load up the package. I don't know why, but for me it stays on 0% for a few minutes. So just keep that in mind. It might be the same with you, it might not, but just wait. Right, so once it has finished installing, just press circle to go back to the main menu. Now you can close out of Vita Shell. And just scroll down on your PS Vita and look for the RetroArch bubble. So just press X and then press X to start it. And then it's going to boot into the theme that you copied across. So this is sort of the style that most people recognize. Um, if you didn't add that theme folder, then it would sort of be really basic, like the old style of RetroArch. But basically what you want to do, guys, is just scroll along and you want to go to um, this last um, option. And then you want to press circle on scan directory. Then you just want to scroll down, go on to your UX0. Then scroll down and we're looking for our RetroArch ROMs folder, so press 0 on that. Then where it says scan this directory, press circle on that. So now it's just going to scan the whole directory and then just add all your games. Uh, just let it do its thing, just give it a few minutes. And of course it depends on how many games you've got. So I've only got one game per folder, so mine finished very quickly. So just press X a few times and just go back. Now you can see all my games appear. So. I've got Game Boy Advance, Final Fantasy, Game Boy Color, it tells you at the top as well, Super Nintendo, and then we have got the Master System. So as you can see, it's as simple as that, and all your games will display. So now I'm going to show you guys how to launch a game. So let's choose um, Game Boy Color. So you just press Circle to run it, then press Circle on Run. Now you need to select the emulator you want, so we've got different ones. So we've got the GAM Battle emulator, we've got the Gear Boy emulator, or we've got the TGB Dual emulator, which I've never heard of. So I'm going to go for the Gear Boy emulator. So obviously you just press circle on the emulator. 
and then press circle to run. And then it's just going to load into the game. So full sound works, obviously I can't play the music. And as you can see, the quality of it is pretty good. So here's just some quick gameplay just to prove that everything works. Obviously it'd be running at, you know, full FPS because it's a Game Boy Color game. Um, you can get a lot of different types of games on this. You can even play PlayStation 1 games, although I wouldn't recommend it. I'd just recommend playing the PSP eBoot version. Um, it's probably just a lot better to be honest. But yeah, this seems to work fine. So back on the RetroArch menu, let me just show you everything else we've got. So there's Quick Menu, um, this is all the main menu stuff. Uh, so there's Load Core, you don't really need to worry about any of these. There's Restart RetroArch in case you have any problems. And um, there's also a Help section so you can learn some more about it. There's also a lot online updater so you can update to the latest version. Uh, right now this is 1.7.3 which is the latest version. And then there's drivers, video, audio, you can change everything in here since these are the settings. And then you've also got a favourites tab which I don't use at all. Um, history which just show, shows all the ROMs you played. Uh, there's music which I probably wouldn't use. And there's net play so you can like play with people online and stuff. But if that's possible I'll probably make another video for it. Also probably make another video um, on how to add cover up. I just need to find um, you know a really good source of where to get the cover up. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you install RetroArch on your PS Vita and then obviously play all the games. Um, so this works with a load of different games. It's actually really cool. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.